back on the campus of Longwood University here, one of the state's oldest universities, established back in 1839. I think our crowd has tripled in size in the last 45 minutes. Tonight, this campus playing host to its first vice presidential debate between Tim Kaine and Mike Pence. Joining me now is Mark Guerin. He's a former White House deputy chief of staff during Bill Clinton's presidency. He's now the president with the Hobart and William Smith Colleges. Mark, thanks for being with us. Thank so, you, Helen. Listen, you. you you have prepped Al Gore for a night like this, right? A VP debate. Were it you giving advice to Pence and Kane? What would you tell each man? What would be the number one priority for you for these guys? Well, I think the number one priority, if you're Tim Kane, Senator Kane, is to advance the momentum that Secretary Clinton uh, garnered at uh, at Hofstra, and for Governor Pence, it's to try to advance uh, Mr. Trump and to try to break what has been a, a challenging week for him. But the challenge for vice presidential candidates, of course, they have to defend their record. They have to defend the nominee's record. And then they have to explain the difference, if there is any, between the two. So in many ways, it's a formidable task for both of them this evening. So when you look at our new NBC News SurveyMonkey online poll, uh, you know, you see that 40 percent of people say they just don't know enough about Tim Kaine. 33 percent say they don't know enough about Mike Pence. So if you're one of these candidates, one of these VP nominees, how do you balance trying to, to get some name recognition, right, trying to put yourself out there with not also stepping in it and creating more controversy for your candidate, particularly if you're Mike Pence and you have to defend Donald Trump? Which is sort of more important for these guys? I think it's more important to advance the nominee because I think in this case, unlike previous vice presidential debates, there isn't really a question for fitness for office. Both have served in the Congress, both large state governors, mm -hmm. both credentialed candidates. And while they've apparently never met before tonight's debate, what really is tonight is about, is about the nominees. And so I think that is the first order of, of business for both of them. But it's, it's not a question of their own fitness for office. We've had that with Sarah Palin or right. Dan Quayle or perhaps John Edwards. That's not at the uh, stage tonight. Mark, before I let you go quickly, eyeballs. How many people do you think are going to be watching tonight? There's been a knock that this may be a pretty boring debate compared to the top of the ticket. What do you think? I, I suspect, I don't think this will top the Biden-Palin debate, which I guess was 70 million. Uh, but it, in a tight election, everything's consequential. And so is tonight's debate. Mark Aaron, thanks so much for being with us.